Hey, this is Tyler with TJX Survival. We are going to show you how to make a Burtonsville rig. I'm here with Jim Noka from American Knife Company. So stay tuned. First off, what is a Burtonsville rig? It is a tripod, TP type thing that you can hang your beans or whatever you want above a fire. Can you give me a little bit of history on it? No. no I, right I know that it, it was, uh, <laughs> um, was something that uh, Moore's discovered as a, from a primitive tribe, was my understanding. So Morris, as in Morris Kochanski, yeah, yeah. slaughtering his name. Yeah, it was, uh, and that's how, and apparently it was a, a native tribe that lived in the, I'm guessing a Burtonville area, I don't know. Okay, there you go. I don't know the history on it. I know it works really well. I yep. use it a lot because you can do an adjustable version of it. So we made some snowshoes yesterday. We're going to repurpose those snowshoes into the Burtonville rig, which I have right here. So basically what he's doing is he's going to set up an X right there. That's that a twig he's got to just hold it. It's just grew there. Oh, no, that, no, I didn't grow there. That's when he got this loose. Toss right. me that piece of uh, right there. Okay. So we've got the uh, X right here. I'm going to move that stick. There you go. People will get confused and think it's part of it. And then we've got a long one, which we're going to hang over the top. Uh, but basically it's really easy in the snow because you can jam that stuff down in the snow but normally what I do is just make an X and then drop it on top. We don't need the sticks to be as long just so you know these are long because we took them off of the uh, the snowshoes we made earlier. Yeah, we're going to repurpose them. So he's going to do an X right there, lash that together and then we're going to lay the stick down on top of it which will hang out here above the fire and I'm going to show you how to make an adjustable piece to rise and lower that stick so that it can adjust the temperature of the stuff that you're cooking. Our heads are kind of chopped off. So what you want with this upper piece is a flat level spot, okay? I've already got a mostly level spot from the hatchet. That smoke's getting me. Woo. But I want a really level spot. With a shelf on it. No catch. Yeah, that would be bad. I already did that once today. Okay? Once I've got that flat spot, then I'm gonna put a notch right here, but dimple. Yeah, a little dimple. Before I do that, I'm going to do my notch stick so that I know the distance on where to put this at. So this piece is just flat and level with a little notch on it. Now i got to build the notch stick that's going to rise and lower the thing that I'm going to hang from over the fire. What I want to do is use the natural hook that's already there from a, uh, a stick. That way it's going to have a little more rigidity. I don't need this bottom piece of it, so I'm going to chop that off. Okay, trim that up a little bit. Now, what I've got is just basically a little lip. All I need is something that will hold the wire part from the pot. So you're going to cut kind of a groove around it so that the wire pot will hang on. And I like to cut above it a bit, just kind of smooths it out and allows it to hang on to it. If you make those grooves around the outside nice and deep, then you won't lose your pot into the fire, which is you know the whole reason we're making this. So now I've got a little spot for that to hang. The next thing I want to do is measure it and decide where do I want the different notches to be when it hangs. So if I go right here, if I've got a pot that's hanging that high, 
there's a first notch. Leave a little mark. Now let's say I want the pot to be that high. There's a second notch. Got to get on the right side of the, the tree. Okay. And then the final pot is going to be about that high, which is the length of the pot. And I can grab the pot and test it. So if you see right about there, you're hanging off the fire, right in the flame. So on the back side of that is where I want the final notch. Now, the way that I'm gonna make these work is this. So the way that I'm gonna do this X cut, you're, you're essentially, you're looking for an X cut so that you have a nub that hangs down below. So in order to do that, I'm gonna put this at an X like this, okay? Not too deep, Just cut my stick in half. And an X like that. Probably because you got such a sharp knife. Yeah, I know, it's cutting right through the stick. Okay, and then essentially what I'll do is once I've made that X cut, I'll just clean this part out. And then you want to kind of clear this stuff up above where your X notch is so that when you have it sitting in its cradle, it'll actually fit. So that kind of gives me that little X cut, and I'll take a little more out of here, because I know that that's gonna get in the road. Try not to go past the heartwood if you can. Because you want your stick to have your rigidity still. And then the last part that I need to do, it's kind of lumpy right there. I gotta cut just in the base of this so there's a knob. And what I'll do is just hold it close, just curl in there just a little bit. And there is my little knob that's gonna fit on its top. Now that I've created the knob, <clears throat> I can stick this right here. Give me a nice close up of that. Okay, so now that I've created this, you can see where that's gonna sit. It's already holding itself by itself, but you can also see how I need to clear out the bottom a little bit. So. You can turn that over if you want. Yeah, that's true. You can pick it up, it's not tight. Now that I've cleared that out, I'm gonna sit just like that. So the last thing I need to do is pick my point, make a little bit of a notch right in that point. And a good way to do this is to choke up kind of high on the blade so that you're not going to slip and cut yourself because that sucks. And that little notch right there, that little divot, is what's gonna hold all the weight right like that. Now as I pull the weight down, it's not gonna slide off. All right. So the last thing I'm gonna do is make my two more notches right here so that I can adjust it from here to here to here. And then we're gonna cook us some beans.
There we go. This guy can be adjusted from right there on the fire. Bring it a little higher up. Or put it clear up here out of the fire itself. Now it's time to stop crafting and start cooking food. Because <laughs> yeah, we're getting hungry. Hungry. All right, Jim. Yes. So what are we cooking? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take the skin off of the, or the bark off of this. Yeah. Hang on. At beech tree. And I'm going to take some of that uh, that dough. Cook some dough. And wrap it around it. This will and fall. then we're going to jam this in the snow next to that uh, over in that fire area, just so it gets heat and it'll. And as we're you just keep an eye on it and then turn it occasionally, and it will bake like it, it looks squirrels. Squirrels! You're as bad as a puppy dog. Squirrel! Yeah. Okay, anyway. <laughs> a little baby ground squirrel. A little ADD, you know. Um, and uh, then we're going to just keep an eye on it and let it let it uh, brown. And then as we get our stuff ready for the sausages, we'll make we'll make uh, some kind of fork to, to cook those sausages over. You know, and just freaking peel it off of this, wrap it on the sausage, and mow it. America. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. And they're cheaper. They're like way cheaper. You get a lot more. Probably. Yes, you get a, like three fifty for a big box. All right, do some skin in there. Yeah, we're just you know taking the outside bark off. Too easy. Show me your knife real quick. People okay. are gonna want to know what it is. That is the. This is the American Knife Company Forest. This is the original one that first came out. I keep calling it the Forester, huh? Yeah. Well, it's okay. People call it <laughs> anything they want. Once they touch it they'll fall in love with it. Oh, I was super impressed. I mean, that's, that is the one thing about this knife that, uh, that I've really noticed is that, you know, some guys are, so, you know, it's not a cheap knife and some well, guys are- you paid for. Yeah, yeah. Um, a, a lot, actually a lot of thought went into it. Um, a lot I of like design. It, it can do bushcraft and it, and I haven't well, tried it yet, but I'm sure it'll be a good skinner and a yeah. good fish, fishing. Yep, yep. Uh, gutting. It's got a continuous curve. From, from from the choil all the way to the point. There, this is a continuous curve. Mm -hmm. And it's it's heavy enough that you can baton it without any trouble whatsoever. It's got a pommel that you can you can uh, mash for, uh, make cordage. Or That's the whole. Break nuts with it and stuff too. Oh yeah, you can do that stuff, but, but I. Um, so like busting dog bane. And making and making cordage, yeah. yes. that's that, And that works perfect for it. You know, it's one of those kind of deals. Very nice. Oh, oh you're fired. Wow. Oh, put the fire out too. This now is, you're in fire. Now you're this in fire actually detail. won't work. There you go. I'm gonna pull that away. Now you're in fire detail. You've got yeah. to. Uh, you've got to. You screwed up the fire now. Right. There we go. Set that puppy right there on the stick, right above the fire. Heat rises, cooks it, and you're good to go. Now we wait. All right, well, it's just about dark, so we're going to say goodbye. Bye, guys. See ya. You waving? Bye. See ya. See ya later. Gonna eat our bratwurst and our... I would call that bannock. Yeah, it's Is like... Is that what they call it? It's like bannock bread, only it's bannock Pils rolls. Pilsbury version. Yeah, Pilsbury <laughs> version. Very nice. All right, till tomorrow. Thanks for watching T-Jack Survival.